क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम इकीडा Hello friends in the previous lecture we have discussed about that is by various method we can easily prepare amines and among that the one method is preparation of amine from alkyl halide so now let us talk about this topic very clearly So friends, in this topic we are going to talk about that is how we can prepare amine from alkyl halides. So basically, if I talk about alkyl halides, so I could represent it with R X. The thing is, if we have to convert this alkyl halide into a amine, so for that what we have to do is we have to react it with ammonia, that is NH three, and that also alcoholic. So in this case, basically the alcoholic. Ammonia. It will react with the alkyl halide and it will break the bond between the carbon and the halogen atom. And that kind of process or that kind of breaking of the bond between the carbon and halogen with the help of ammonia is basically known as ammonolysis. And that is what I am going to talk about. So in this process, basically the thing is this halogen atom it would be replaced by the NH2 group, while one of the hydrogen of the ammonia it would be moved with this X or this halogen atom in the form of HX. And that is the reason that the product that we could get is nothing but RNH2 plus HX that would be removed as a byproduct. So this is the main compound that we have got and this one could be a primary amine that is what we can say. So talking about alkyl halides, alkyl halides are reactive with ammonia. But if we talk about aryl halides, that is suppose if we are talking about chlorobenzene or any halobenzene. So in that case, basically they are not very much reactive to ammonia and that's the reason that ammonolysis doesn't take place there. So that's the reason that we have only discussing about the reaction of alkyl halide with ammonia. So this is the reaction and this is basically the substitution reaction that takes place. But the reaction doesn't stay in this manner only or we can't get only a primary amine in the product. The thing is whenever the reaction occurs, the reaction occurs with the formation of a primary amine. But this primary amine is very much reactive compared to that of the ammonia. And that's the reason this primary amine, it will react with the other molecules which are nothing but which are alkyl halides. And that's the reason that I'm writing the reaction in this way. That is this RNH2, that is this is the primary amine that will react with the remaining Rx or the alkyl halide and in this manner basically hx that would be removed as a byproduct while well, the remaining product or the main product that we have is nothing but r n r and this is h so here basically we have converted an alkyl halide into primary amine but that primary amine has reacted with the alkyl halide so as to form a secondary amine but this reaction doesn't stop here obviously this secondary amine it will react with the remaining alkyl halides and this is how basically we can form a tertiary amine let me give you the reaction here so therefore we can write in this way that is r n h r suppose if it is reacting with another molecule of alkyl halide so in this case basically at high temperature that is around 373 kelvin and by providing this much of temperature obviously the reaction will occur in such a manner that is the product that we could get is r n r that is r plus hx so this is how we have got a tertiary amine but still the reaction doesn't stop over here so the reaction will go on or it will proceed in such a manner that is we could convert this r n r or we could also call it as tertiary amine into a further part where suppose if it is reacting with Rx. So therefore the product that we could get is nothing but a quaternary amine and that is nothing but R, N, R, I would write it over here also along that of X minus. So this is what we can convert an alkyl halide into mixtures of amine but this kind of reaction or this kind of generation that is what I am representing over here is not very much favorable so as to obtain just primary amine because we can get a mixture of amines and which are not required in fact so that's the reason this kind of process is basically not being proceeded so as to give a primary amine as a major product but still this reaction can be done so as to obtain the amines so this is what i want to discuss about and now let me give you an example related to this one so that we could understand in much more better way suppose friends if i'm talking about ethyl bromide 
So in this case, suppose if ethyl bromide is reacted with NH3, yeah, that also alcoholic. And in this case, suppose if the alkyl halide is present in an excess amount, obviously the product that is that is going to produce, that is, I would write it over here, that is at a temperature that is 373 Kelvin. So the product that is what we could get is C2H5 NH2 plus HBr. So this is the product that we have got and that is nothing but primary amine. But this primary amine, it will be reacting with another molecule of C2H5Br and that's the reason that we could convert this into that is C2H5 NH2. Obviously it will react with C2H5Br so as to give us that is C2H5 and here also I could write here as C2H5 plus HBr. So initially we have got a product and that was known as ethylamine but now what we have got is we have got diethylamine. So the reaction doesn't stop over here. Again that is C2H5 that is I'm talking about diethylamine. It will again it will react with C2H5Br which are remaining and for that we could get a product that is nothing but a tertiary amine and that's the reason that I am writing over here as C2H5 And that is it. So for that, if I talk about the another method, that is obviously this is the tertiary amine. That is what we have got. But suppose if this C2H5, which is thrice, basically I am talking about uh, tertiary amine. And suppose if it is reacted with other molecule of C2H5Br, then in this case we could get C2H5, that is a quaternary amine. And that is what I am writing over here. So this is the reaction but let me give you more detail about this thing so here we have considered basically we are considering a primary alkyl halide and obviously even this reaction can be done for a secondary halide also but if we talk about a tertiary alkyl halide for example like if i'm talking about a tertiary butyl bromide so this tertiary butyl bromide is not that much reactive to ammonia and that's the reason in that case also the hemolysis doesn't take place and that is what I want to talk about a few details related to this reaction. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.